Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a quick WordPress tutorial, and it has to do with WooCommerce, the platform or the plugin that helps you sell products on your website if it's built on WordPress. So, for example, as you can see in front of you on my screen, on your screen, um, my website, the Site Blogger, and if you follow me, then you know that my website is built on WordPress. It's self-hosted WordPress. I use SiteGround to host it, and I have a shop. So if you go to the siteblogger.com and you click shop, you will see that I sell Canva templates, I sell newsletter ads from my newsletter, I sell blog post templates, and other contract templates and whatnot. So I have several products. Um, the tutorial today will cover a simple feature that could potentially um, grab more buyers for you. And this feature is, let me just show you what I mean. Um, so for example, if I click on any of the products, the feature is the buy now button. So let me explain what it means. In most shops that are hosted on uh, WooCommerce, this is a button that says add to cart or something like that. Basically what happens is that when you click this button and it should say something like add to cart or um, I, I think, I believe that's the wording. I forgot exact wording, but uh, basically when you click the button, it adds the product to your cart and then you'll have to go to the cart and then click checkout and then you'll have to do like the stuff like um, giving your information, giving your payment information, your name, your email, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll have to click another button that says pay now and then um, finally the payment and the purchase will be complete. It's a lot of steps. And if we know one thing by now is that the more steps you add between seeing a product and um, finishing payment, the more customers, potential customers you lose because people start having second thoughts, um, people start doubting whether they actually want to buy things or not. So the best thing to do is to minimize the steps. And what I have done using a free plugin is minimize that step. And this is how I've done it. And I will tell you what the plugin is and it's built for WooCommerce. So when you use that plugin and you, there are some steps that I will show you in a minute what the steps are. If you follow those steps, what will happen is that when you, when someone goes to a product page, they will see a buy now button instead of add to cart, for example. And when they click that buy now button, they will go directly to a checkout page. So they don't have to like click, they don't have to go to add to cart and then click checkout and then pay. All of that is gone. Basically, you're taking care of all of that steps. And they directly go to the checkout page where they can fill out billing details and then just fill out their payment information with their credit card or whatever. Um, and then they can just place order and that's it. They're done. They are done with the purchasing. Basically two clicks, that's it. Instead of three or four clicks. So you're minimizing steps so that you have more buyers. So now I told you that I've done it with a plugin and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So let's go to my dashboard and in your dashboard, when you go to your WordPress dashboard, click plugins and then click add new plugin on top and then search for WooCommerce direct checkout, search for it. And as you can see, the first plugin that showed up is direct checkout for WooCommerce. And that's the plugin you want. Now, this plugin is uh, by Quad Layers. Now, if it doesn't show up at the very first spot, because those things change, just make sure to look for direct checkout for WooCommerce by Quad Layers. So basically, this is the plugin. 
I'm now in a separate plugin page. Um, direct checkout for WooCommerce by Quad Layers. So anyway, um, when you um, see that plugin, install and activate. It says active right now. It's grayed out because this plugin is already active on my website. Um, but yeah, that's the one you want. So click install, click activate. And then when it's activated, on your left panel under WooCommerce, there will be a new tab called Direct Checkout. Click that. Now I'm going to show you what the settings are. Under the General tab, just make sure these are your settings. Add it to cart alert. I have it no. I'm just showing you what my settings are so that you can follow those steps. Add it to cart link in shop, yes. Add it to cart redirect, yes. Add it to cart redirect to checkout. Replace cart URL, no. No need to. So make sure that these are the settings on your end. Under Archives, replace Add to Cart text. Yes, I want Add to Cart text to say Buy Now. So just make sure that it's yes. Replace Add to Cart text in. Basically, click here and make sure that all of your products are in there. Um, simple products, group products, virtual products, variable products, downloadable, downloadable products. Select all of them. Unless you want certain products do not have um, direct checkout button. For me, yes, I want all of them to have the buy now button instead of add to cart. And then replace add to cart text content. For me, it's buy now. You can do whatever. You can do purchase or just buy. For me, it's buy now. That's what I have said. Make sure to always save your changes, by the way. The next tab is product. Click products. And then make sure that the first one is grayed out. That's fine. The second one is replace add to cart text. Yes. Replace add to cart text content by now. It's just, you know, it's a little bit redundant, but make sure to do them. Save your changes. Go to checkout. Um, if something is grayed out, don't worry about it. Remove checkout fields address to company phone. Basically, I don't, I don't need those fields, so I just have them. Um, I, I don't show them. And you can click here to get more, um, you know, options, to see more options. For me, address, company, phone, those are the things that I don't want because I sell digital products only. I don't have to ship anything, so I don't need address. I don't need company name. I don't need phone number because all of my digital products are available immediately as soon as someone purchases something from me. The next option is remove checkout shipping address. Um, you could actually do yes, um, because I don't ship anything, so yes. Remove checkout order comments, no. Remove checkout policy text, no. Remove checkout terms and conditions, no, because you want those things. You want the policy, you want the terms and conditions to show. So those are all no. Remove checkout gateway icons, no. I don't even know what that is, but I have set it to no. And then save changes and go to premium. Oops, I have to save changes. Premium, I don't have premium. It's a it's a free plugin. You have more options if you have premium, but I don't I don't really need any other options. So premium documentation suggestions, those are not necessary. So the only things that are necessary are general. So just once again, look at the options under general. These are the options. Add it to cart alert, no. Add it to cart link in shop, yes. Add it to cart redirect, yes. Add it to cart redirect to checkout. Replace URL, uh, cart URL, no. Under archives, replace add to, add to cart text, yes. Replace add to cart text in all of the products, product uh, categories. Replace add to cart text content by now. Under products. 
replace add to cart text yes replace add to cart text content by now under checkout remove checkout fields whichever fields you do not want remove checkout shipping address yes for me because i sell digital products remove checkout order comments no remove checkout policy text no remove checkout terms and conditions no remove checkout gateway icons no save changes changes and that's it that's all you have to do and then when you do that if you go to your website if you go to your woocommerce shops so you know the shop page if you go there if you go to your product you will see a buy now button instead of add to cart and when you click that buy now button you will go directly to the checkout page instead of the cart page where you will be able to fill out your information, payment information, and people will be able to place order right on that page. Simple, right? Try it out, test it out. I'm sure we'll get some more sales in that way. I know I have, so there it is. All right, that's it for today's tutorial, and I will see you again soon with a different video. Bye.